Now, the Vice President, Yemi Oshibaju, has raised the alarm that Nigeria will fail completely if the leaders do not accept and implement what he described as ethical revolution. Obasanjo stated this while delivering a lecture titled Values the Difference Between Success and Failure at the 100th anniversary of the Old Boys Association of the Baptist Boys High School, Label Kuta Ogun State. He insisted that the government must lead the ethical revolution by rewarding good behaviors and ensuring speedy punishment for misconduct. He called on educational institutions to inculcate the value of honesty, diligence, hard work, respect, trustworthiness, discipline, and integrity in their students so as to raise the youth with the right thinking. We must be able to demonstrate that it is not that wealth, good order, building institutions don't come by just miraculous occurrence. But they come by building hard work, step by step, line by line, precept by precept. That's what our religious leaders must teach. The religious elite must also reject and ostracize public officers and persons whose wealth cannot be explained or is clearly from shady or suspicious sources. Every modern society, everyone modern society, has had to deal with corruption. Corruption is not a Nigerian thing. It's not. Sometimes we deceive ourselves, telling ourselves, oh, it is Nigeria. No. Many countries, in fact, most countries of the world had more corruption than us, but their elite sat down and decided we have to deal with this thing. If we don't deal with it, it will deal with us. There is no modern society today, and I challenge anyone to demonstrate to make any modern society that has not had to deal with corruption. And they deal with it by the elite sitting down and saying, we have to agree. This is the way forward. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.